Introduction Good morning students Good morning teacher Today we will learn biodiversity and conservation Can anybody tell me what biodiversity is Uh sir biodiversity refers to the varieties of animals found in a particular area Very good Divya Uh how will we conserve the biodiversity we conserve the biodiversity with the help of national parks sanctuaries etc in this lesson you will learn biodiversity and its conservation objectives at the end of this lesson you'll be able to understand biodiversity and its levels describe patterns of biodiversity describe importance of biodiversity explain loss of biodiversity describe biodiversity conservation biodiversity Biodiversity is defined as the existence of a wide range of different types of organisms in a given place at a given time. The biological diversity include three hierarchical levels. They are genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecological diversity. Let's know more about them in detail on our next screen. levels of biodiversity genetic diversity the genetic variation existing within a species is called genetic diversity the genetic variation may be in alleles in entire gene or in chromosomal structure species diversity the two important measure of species diversity are species richness it is defined as the number of species per unit area species evenness it refers to the relative abundance with which each species is represented in an area ecological diversity the variety of unique biological communities found on the earth is called ecological diversity how many species are there on earth and how many in india according to international union for conservation of nature the total number of plant and animal species is more than 1.5 million biodiversity is important to human being for their sustenance health well-being and recreation for example humanity derives all of its food medical and industrial products from the components of biological diversity here is a pie graph representing global biodiversity biodiversity in india india is one of the 12 mega biodiversity countries of the world india has only 2.4% of the land area of the world it has 8.1% of the global species biodiversity there are about 45000 species of plants and 90000 to 1 lakh species of animals need to be discovered and named patterns of biodiversity latitudinal gradients biodiversity is not uniform on the earth it varies with change in latitude or altitude biodiversity increase when we move from high to low latitude the temperate region has severe climate with short growing period for plants on the other hand tropical region has favorable conditions for the growth throughout the year the favorable environmental conditions favor speciation and make it possible for a larger number of species to occur and grow therefore tropical regions are rich in biodiversity for instance in tropical rainforests 
The mean number of vascular species per 0.1 HS sample area varies from 118 to 236, whereas it is only in the range of 21 to 28 species in the temperate regions. This type of correlation between diversity and latitude is also found for several taxonomic groups such as ants, butterflies, moths and birds, etc. Species Area Relationships The species diversity decreases from lower to higher altitude on a mountain. The temperature drops about 6.5 degrees Celsius with increase in altitude by 1000 meter. The drop in temperature and greater seasonal variability at higher altitudes are the two major factors that reduce diversity. The latitudinal and altitudinal gradients of species diversity are two master gradients, although there are some regional and taxa-related exceptions. At the same time, more complex and heterogeneous physical environment favor more complex and diverse flora and fauna in the region. The relationship between species richness and the area in which wide varieties are present on a logarithmic scale is a straight line given below. Log S is equal to log C plus Z log A. Z is slope of the line. C is Y intercept. The importance of species diversity to the ecosystem. A rich biodiversity is essential for the health of biosphere and bioindustrial development of a country. Biodiversity is the source of food, medicines, pharmaceutical drugs, fibers, rubber and timber. Several microorganisms are used in industries to obtain valuable products. Modern agriculture uses biodiversity in three ways. As a source of new crops, as a source material for breeding improved varieties and as a source of new biodegradable pesticides. The importance of species diversity to the ecosystem. Biodiversity has many medicinal uses. Some of the plant-based substances developed into valuable drugs are morphine used as an analgesic is obtained from papaver somniferum. Quinine used for the treatment of malaria is obtained from chinchona legriana. Biodiversity also has great aesthetic value. Ecotourism, bird watching, wildlife, pet keeping, gardening, etc. are some examples of aesthetic rewards of biodiversity. Loss of Biodiversity Human activities are the major threat to biodiversity. The important factors leading to extinction of species and consequent loss of biodiversity are Habitat loss and fragmentation Overexploitation Alien species invasions and coextinctions Habitat loss and fragmentation Habitat loss is the primary threat to the biodiversity. Natural habitats, which protect natural flora and fauna, are being converted to human settlements, dams, reservoirs, croplands and grazing grounds. Deforestation deprive animal life of shelter and food. This decreases the population of many species. Deforestation declines reproductive capacity of certain wild animals due to reduced area of their free movement. Migratory animals are also affected by deforestation because of the disturbance in their roots. Habitat fragmentation is an ecological process in which a large piece of habitat, 
is divided into smaller pieces of habitats. Usually, this process is caused by human activities. It leads to decline of many wildlife species because fragmentation tends to decrease population productivity. Overexploitation Overexploitation of species causes the loss of genetic diversity and loss in the species' abundance of both individual and groups of interacting species. Overexploitation may include overfishing and overharvesting. Unrestricted whaling during the 20th century is an example of overexploitation, and the whaling industry brought many species of whales to extremely low population sizes. Humans have fished the oceans, which never seem to pose a problem due to their abundant resources. Increasing human populations have placed increasing demands on the sea as a source of food. Alien Species Invasions the species which have been introduced to a place where they have not lived before are called invasion species. Invasion species disturb the balance of the nature. The native species unable to compete with the outsiders after living undisturbed for a long time are frequently driven out or get killed. Several fish species such as bluegill sunfish and smallmouth bass have been widely introduced throughout western northern America where they cause serious threats to amphibian populations. Co-extinctions Co-extinction of a species is the loss of a species as a consequence of the extinction of the other. For example, when a host of fish becomes extinct, then all the microorganisms live on that fish also becomes extinct. Co-extinctions Co-extinction of a species is the loss of a species as a consequence of the extinction of the other. For example, when a host of fish becomes extinct, then all the microorganisms live on that fish also becomes extinct. Co-extinctions Co-extinction of a species is the loss of a species as a consequence of the extinction of the other. For example, when a host of fish becomes extinct, then all the microorganisms live on that fish also becomes extinct. Co-extinctions Co-extinction of a species is the loss of a species. Biodiversity Conservation Why should we conserve biodiversity? Biodiversity plays an important role for maintaining the ecological functions, including stabilization of water cycle, maintenance of soil fertility, pollination and cross-fertilization of crops and other vegetation, protects against soil erosion, and stability of food producing and other ecosystems. Conservation of biological diversity leads to conservation of important ecological diversity to preserve the existence of food chains. It provides the base for the livelihoods, culture and economies of several hundred millions of people. It also provides the genetic base for the continuous upgradation of agriculture and for critical discoveries in scientific and industrial sectors. How do we conserve biodiversity? India is a center of rich biological diversity and has contributed significantly of the global biodiversity. India is a homeland of 167 cultivated species and 320 wild relatives of crop plants. Different biodiversity management systems involving both in situ and ex situ conservation programs. In situ conservation, the protection of animals and plants in their natural habitat is known as in situ conservation. The established natural habitat are 
national parks and sanctuaries, biosphere reserves, nature reserves, reserved and protected forests, preservation plots, and reserved forests. The first initiative was the establishment of the Corbett National Park in 1936. These are highly protected by law. No human activity such as firewood collection and grazing is allowed in the park. Sanctuaries are also protected, but some human activities are permitted. In situ conservation. Biosphere reserves are another category of protected areas. A large area is declared as a biosphere reserve where wildlife is protected, but local communities are permitted to continue to live and pursue traditional activities within the reserve. Indian government has set up seven biosphere reserves Nokrek, Nilgiri, Namdhafa. Nanda Devi, Sundarbans, Great Nicobar, and Gulf of Manar. Biodiversity Hotspot a biodiversity hotspot is a region of the earth which is extremely biologically diverse and also under severe threat due to habitat loss, climate change or extensive species loss. There are 34 hotspots in the world. India has three biodiversity hotspots. They are Western Ghats, Himalayas and Indo-Burma region. Ex situ conservation. Ex situ conservation of plants and animals involves protecting them away from their natural habitat. For example, zoological parks, botanical gardens. All the genetic material of crops, animal, bird, and fish species is collected and preserved by the National Bureau of Plant Genetic Resources, New Delhi, and National Bureau of Animal Genetic Resources, etc. When we reintroduce the species into the habitat from where it has become extinct is another form of ex situ conservation. For example, Gangetic Gharial has been reintroduced in the rivers of Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan where it had become extinct. Did you know, our Prime Minister Mr. Manmohan Singh launched the Hyderabad Pledge and announced that his government had decided to earmark $50 million to strengthen the institutional mechanism for biodiversity conservation in India. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Biodiversity is defined as the existence of a wide range of different types of organisms in a given place at a given time. Biodiversity increase when we move from high to low latitude. The species diversity decreases from lower to higher altitude on a mountain. Biodiversity is essential for the health of biosphere. It acts as the source of food and it also has great aesthetic values. Human activities are the major threat to biodiversity. It includes habitat loss and fragmentation, overexploitation, alien species invasions, co-extinctions. The protection of animals and plants in their natural habitat is known as 
in situ conservation ex situ conservation of plants and animals involves protecting them away from their natural habitat